Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 11th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world events. Starting out here, space weather, last 48 hours. We're seeing now six or seven bright regions Earth facing, but they're not very strong, except for the incoming Northern region. Looking here, the last 48 hours of the incoming 304 angstroms. Looking now outgoing. So seven, about seven bright regions that are earth facing right now. <clears throat> and who knows what's happening on the backside of the sun. Looking at a small, very small flare out of that sunspot. Looking here at a multi-spectrum, you can really see plasma filaments, coronal holes, and the sun spot regions. Looking here at another light, you can really see a new coronal hole de developing in the northern hemisphere, straight across the North Pole. So our real-time solar wind, we're still pretty steady at about 370 kilometers per second. But something I've noticed here in the north and south polarities is that they've been ripped apart here for the past couple hours and over the past couple hours we've seen some intensification in the northern hemisphere and he uh, southern hemisphere perturbation looking here at our geospace magnetosphere seeing the pressure increase but then look at all that backside pressure Schumann residence for today, the power of 28. Seeing a small spike right now as we're seeing those polarities stretched apart. Amplitude of 46 and equality of 21. Starting out here in Papua, Indonesia, most recently with a 5.4 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, just west here, Tual, Indonesia, 4.5 at a 63 kilometer depth. Moving into the Philippines, most re recently as well, a 5.1 and as well, 4.9. Northern Japan, actually Russia, Shikotan, 4.6, another one, 4.1. 4.6 Kamchatsk so very active region here as we're seeing volcanoes popping off there Kluchevskoy as well 4.3 here in Alaska another 4.3 Atka Alaska parts of eastern Alaska still small quakes to report there nothing major North American Plate, Petrolia, California, 2.7, as well, 2.5 Pinnacles, 2.6 Ratcliffe City, Oklahoma. And as well, I also do follow Earthquakes Canada. So once in a while, I pop over onto the Canada Earthquake site. And today I found a couple rare earthquakes here up in Nunavut. And that was a 3.2 that was reported here in Pond Inlet, none of it and I was just kind of curious as to you know the topography of the land over here around all of these small earthquakes that are kind of swarming this is the last 30 days for earthquakes so I just wanted to get uh, satellite imagery and then you can see here 
that all of these earthquakes are all around this large glacier through the pond inlet, none of it. And I just wanted to share with all of my Canadian viewers, this is the last 30 days for earthquakes. And no friends in Nova Scotia may have reported or heard about a 3.0 at an 18 kilometer depth off the coast of Nova Scotia. And this is the last 30 days. All those yellow earthquakes are the older ones. Even the 3.9 downgraded from a 4.5 in Banff. So I appreciate all of my Canadian viewers I wanted to share with you. And looking here at, over Hawaii, at Pahala, and as well the top of Napupu, Mauna Loa. Microquakes continue across California. Uh, looking here at the Virgin Islands with a 3.8, and as well Puerto Rico, the same size. And then some pretty deep earthquakes today, Argentina, Antonio de la Cobros, Argentina, 5.2, 180 kilometer depth, as well 248 kilometer depth. Another one here, 196 kilometer depth. So South America is a rockin'. 4.6 that that San Antonio La Cobros, I was warned about that place back in December. And I've also been warning about the South Sandwich Islands and sure enough, 5.1 today. And just in yesterday's video, I had forecasted at least a 5.0 or greater. 4.8 to report there, Tanzania, Africa. That is right around both very active volcanoes in Africa as well, Greece with 4.5. 4.3 that was reported yesterday. So there we are. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes and there's still earthquakes continuing. So please, if you want to keep tabs on our planet like we do, birds of a feather flock together, come on into the live stream and check out the 24-7 live stream earthquake feed. Looking here, of course, Kermadec Islands and New Zealand still popping off. Largest today at 5.8 at a 560 kilometer depth. Wow, that's deep. So stay aware and prepared Pacific Plate, Northwest Pacific Plate. And as well, Southern regions for South America, watch for a large earthquake, 6.0 or greater, I'm guessing, because based on all of the deep earthquakes that we've been going on, that have been going on around our planet, that's where I'm basing it right now. But look at the continuing trench thrust through the Kermadec. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. No continent being spared right now. Except for Antarctica. But very quiet North American plague. So please, just be ready, stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Have a plan. Amazing planet that we're living on. It's a really great time to be alive, and I'm grateful to have you all watching. So yeah, check this out. Cyclone Habana, middle of the Indian Ocean, all of a sudden picked up speed to a Category 4 cyclone. Look at this. In the, in the matter of the last three to four hours, it turned into a Category 4 cyclone. And then it looks like it's going to die out again as soon as the sun goes away. I don't know what's going on, but Northern Hemisphere, check this out as well. This is from windy.com. The windy maps for the next seven days. Creating some pretty monstrous systems in the Pacific Ocean, both coasts. But this one here is going to be quite a system for Kamchatka later in the forecast and as well forecast has changed pretty much overnight as we're looking at some pretty dramatic forecasts here for windy.com and then even over the Atlantic Ocean here towards Greenland watch some pretty intense systems develop 
with some very strong winds over open water and just the sheer size of these low pressure systems is mind blowing actually and uh, I've, I've been warning so just let's check out the five day forecast here as it has changed pretty much overnight they weren't expecting this low pressure system to head over the Rocky Mountains but it is going to quickly and produce a big system here for most of the United States you can see the low here will be penetrating over the next couple days over the Rocky Mountains and then heading eastward but look at this long line very strong winds blizzard conditions across most of the upper Midwest and then who knows what the forecast is going to do after that as two systems are looking to converge the Colorado low and as well the Pacific that came from the north so this is going to system that I warned about yesterday the blizzard video it is going to bring some extreme weather for most of southeastern United States into the Gulf states Atlantic Canada you will be receiving a little bit of snow left over from that large low developing in the Atlantic as well but yeah just very interesting forecast how it changed so dramatically big low developing here from the atmospheric river line like look at that that's going to be heading towards the BC coastline in the long range forecast and joining with a low from Alaska strong high pressure ridge in the Pacific and then watch here this isn't even the seven day forecast that's the five day forecast my oh my overlooking the Philippines no tropical storms to talk about Southeast Asia daily evaporation rains Indonesia same thing heavier towards Papua New Guinea and as well uh, New Caledonia and Fiji Australia still looking at that long atmospheric line of moisture stretching from pretty much the northwestern coast to Brisbane and then watching that later in the forecast you could have quite a system developing on the southeastern coast of Australia and then towards New Zealand so heads up New Zealand you could you could have a cyclone on your doorstep in a long-range forecast here showing here heavy rains moving into parts of Fiji as well New Zealand here high pressure ridge for a couple days but then back to rain being affected by the same atmospheric river coming from this pretty vicious and strong low in Antarctica overlooking South America not too much to talk about daily evaporation rains southern Argentina could be affected by a pretty strong low there later in the week but parts of the Shetland Islands and South Sandwich Islands could have some wicked weather on your doorstep for the next few days overlooking Africa not too much to talk about except later in the week through Congo region could see some heavy relieving rains and then Europe being affected by that large low I've been talking about all week looks like it's gonna break up into two or three and then one low here is gonna develop over the Mediterranean High pressure ridge to the east there might get blocked out. I'm not sure. As I said, the forecasts have been changing pretty much overnight. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern, pointing out the major systems heading our way. I want to thank you all for watching and thank you so much for over 28,000. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world